Let's take a look at some charts on Band for Brave New Coin. So Band is a cross-chain data oracle platform, and gee, where have we heard that before? Oh, that's right. It sounds like Link, and there's going to be a lot of compare and contrasts to Link versus Band. I highly recommend reading something like this, which is a comparative analysis, not something I wrote, but they break down the differences between Band and Link, and it's always a good idea to figure out who wrote this and why? Is it a link person? Is it a band person? Do they have some vested interest one way or the other? I think overall this article is pretty neutral from what I could gather. Maybe a little more favorable of band. But if link is any indication as far as what the market appetite for something like this is, then band may have a bright future, especially if there's any problems with link or link oracles or the team at link or the community at Link, whatever. Whatever happens with Link, Band will be there to pick up the slack, ideally. So the reason why these are important is uh, mainly for DeFi, really the use cases right now are DeFi-based price data, pulling APIs together, bringing stuff on-chain, bringing stuff on-chain, off-chain, that sort of thing. I don't have transaction data for Band over time, other than uh, total requests made for the Oracle, so it's between 1.5 and 2 million, at around 1.7 million. It's trending up and to the right since October. So Band is being utilized more so than it ever has been. 69 active nodes. Band has staking as well. So if you're really curious about Band versus Link, I'd read that article. I'd look at the Oracle requests versus price and where Link was at 1.7 million requests, even though the networks are a little different. Those are the types of things you're going to want to look at if you're if you're a Marine or if you're a band community member, if you like Tendermint, check out band, that sort of thing. Inflation rate of 11.5%. They did do an ICO, a couple ICOs, uh, two public, one private, I believe, raised around 10.5 million. Still early stages. They got listed late last year, late 2019, I think, uh, based on the available data. Uh, so it's early, early days for, for band and link. Probably cousins, sisters, brothers, whatever you want to think about that as. Likely competitors, though. So where one falters, the other should rise, that sort of thing. If we look at band technicals, 5200 EMA, VPVR, yearly pivots, volume, RSI. So band had a pretty nice inverted head and shoulders setup, which I personally played to the upside, which eventually worked out, took a while, had a bit of a fake out, tested the 200-day moving average. Uh, but overall, the trend is intact. It's doing things that you'd expect bull trends to do in that it is forming a base for reversal, bullish reversal patterns. It's forming bullish continuation patterns, flag pennants, that sort of thing. It tested the all-time high, briefly breached all-time high, and it's back between 10 and 15 bucks right now. So I'm looking at support at the 50, support at the 200, support at the yearly pivot, support at 859 bucks, support at above five. So there's plenty of reasons why this looks fine so far. Anything below seven, any stagnation below seven, will probably lead to bearish continuation. But as long as this is in the DeFi conversation, which it definitely is, and it and DeFi is bullish, then band should remain bullish. Maybe less so than some of these other coins, depending on band's total circulating supply relative to everything else, band's yield farming capabilities proof of state capabilities relative to everything else. You know, that's all things to be considered when you're looking at the group as a whole. But volume definitely picked up on Binance in January along with all other DeFi things. So it is definitely lumped in with the DeFi stuff. As far as upside, I like 25 bucks. That's our two yearly pivot. That's the reasonable psychological resistance. 30 is reasonable, reasonable psychological resistance. It's probably too early to tell whether or not Band's going to pull a link in that it went up 10,000% over a couple months, right? Like <laughs> Link's run is legendary from where it was to where it is. Link was more right place, right time. Band is maybe too late for a run of that sort. But again, if Link, if Link destroys itself in some way, shape, or form, then Band will be right there to pick up the slack. Here's Band on the cloud, and it also had an edge-to-edge -edge move uh, that you could have played any sort of bullish reversal pattern. This is what that would look like. This was the head, inverted head and shoulders that failed and recovered, which is mainly why I held that position until it reached the other edge. 
Um, after it did that, it consolidated bullish in a bullish fashion, held above the Kijun, had its bullish Kuma breakout, and everything sort of crumbled down. So it's basically a similar stage in uh, late September last year, or late last year in September when it broke down below the Kijun, will probably break below the cloud. So I would definitely wait if I was trading this for some sort of signs of bullishness, because right now it's neutral at best below the Kijun. Um, the trend metrics aren't too favorable on the daily cloud. There is an argument probably to be made for a massive some cup and handle of some sort. So if this were to revisit highs, for me, that's where I'd get back in. And that's probably a decent play to 25.30, something like that. Uh, but otherwise, like I said in the first chart, anything below 7 isn't going to be good. Um, you're going to want to see wicks below 7, but no extended price action below 7. Uh, that's probably going to be a bearish consolidation, if I had to guess. So if it can hold between 7 and 10, it's probably good to go for 25 to 30. If it falters at 7, things are going to get ugly. If that happens, it's likely because of DeFi as a whole is selling off, not necessarily banned, running down on its own. Looking at banned BTC, hopefully I've done enough of these where you already know what I'm going to say. It's below the 200, it's in the cloud, it's below VPVR resistance. Um, all of this looks neutral at best, and probably more bearish than anything. Um, it's been below the cloud since September 2019, below the 200 since November 2019, Sorry, 2020. Both those are 2020. We're living in the past. And it's been unable to hold above the 200 above the cloud. So until it proves itself in a bullish fashion, like it had been into mid-2020, there's really no reason to buy this if you're a trend warrior like me. Otherwise, you're buying any knife stabs below lows. I mean, that's just how it is. You're, you want to take a chance at this, you're probably buying it sub-1600 sats or your community member who is in it for the long haul, basically, uh, because this does not look favorable on the band BTC chart. Until it gets above 33,000 sats, it's probably more bearish to neutral than anything, um, because at that point, it'll be above a v VPVR level, it'll be above the 200, it'll be above the cloud. So that's the level I'd be watching. And band ETH looks like the band BTC chart, very much bearish to neutral below the cloud, below the 200 in the VPVR scrum between... 007 and 009. So until it's above 01, really, that's a good psychological level. It's a good technical level. A run up from 01 to probably 018, next consolidation. It's probably a decent case for that. But this does not look bullish by any means right now, right here. So overall, band is a lot like, like Link. I'm sure there are nuances, which I have not discussed in the video. I would definitely take the time to read posts like this that look at a comparative analysis between the two protocols. They are very similar. They have similar goals in mind. Most likely, they're both oracles. It's good that we have competition. Both will become stronger. If Link, which is clearly the market leader, drops the ball in any way, shape, or form, it's good to see that Band is there to pick up the slack. Technicals on the USD pair look bullish to neutral, and technicals on the BTC and ETH pairs definitely look bearish more so than anything. Um, just look for the basic litmus tests. Is it above the cloud? Is it above the 200? It's got enough data where you can look at the daily and rely on that to a reasonable degree. So let me know in the comments why you like band over link, or why I should pay attention to band over link, because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some angry band community members letting me know what I missed.